Okay, so we want to see how to use Copan Light software. Copan Light is used for processing field data. It's launch Copan. Copan will help us convert angles and distances to coordinates. Coordinate file, new, job, a lot of tissue. Job data. We did this job at a lot of tissue. Create. Save. Now it's asking for edit point. Your it's asking for your orientation. That's your instrument station and your backside coordinates. So name our instrument station name A. What is it? Nothing. If your coordinate is four decimal places, fine. Just you can change it here. But ours is three decimal places. So nothing first. Seven one three. So we just click OK, then see it has changed to point 2. So we put our nail B, which is our back side. Nothing. This thing. Okay, so click OK. So we've inputted our orientation coordinates, our instrumentation, and backstation. Next thing is we close it. Hmm? View results, yes. So you check what you typed in. If they are okay, you close. Okay, the next step we say calculation. You click on calculation, process few data. Hmm? So our instrument station, if you remember from the from here, if you come to edit point, you see instrument station which is point one. That's the ID. Hmm? So at so we put point one here one reference the nail B is two. Yeah? So from our field book, our field book we did zero. We we set up on nail A and did a backside of zero degrees. Zero zero to our back side, so horizontal angle zero. So we can from here just insert. Hmm? So now from here, we now started taking our measurements. Our measurements. So to two is not to two, it will now be to three instead of two. That's the next point. Hmm? That's the next point. So horizontal second reading for the next point is what three degrees zero three minutes zero two seconds but can go ninety point one eight thirty seven stop distance thirty seven point five five eight the name of the point is pillar 5 ok so you continue like this the next point horizontal angle to the next point is 312.4458 vertical is 59.4302 slope distance is 48.0 it it the name is pillar four it's a cadastral survey job next one is 261 that's the next point we measured 15 12 90.0450 30 Point eight three two. This is uh, pillar three slash road. Insert 
next point two forty seven fifty two nineteen eighty nine point zero six fifty just quickly type everything okay so after typing your your angles and distances in if you if you if there's a if there if you had more than one instrument station the next thing you have to do is uh, take for example uh, at uh, at your, your your new station is is point eleven, so we we'll say this is to eleven. You put in the the angle here. Let us just assume we we'll say it's fifty point zero four fifty seven. The vertical ninety slope distance forty six point six six seven. The the name is nail C. You know we've done. We have nail A. Our, our initial instrument station will be our back station. So our next station is nail C so we can say so we say insert hmm? so this is our next station so you uh, you want to move the instrument you moved the instrument on site to nail C to continue your observation so what you do here now you now say since nail C is your point 11 your instrument is not nail C so your, your instrument is on nail C then you back to your your initial instrument station which is uh, point one eh? so this is your current setup now so you just do insert eh? now you are here which is near C point eleven back to your initial instrument station so from here now you can just continue twelve you put in your your horizontal angle vertical angle okay let's just assume that the next point we pick is forty five points Particular right, it's slope distance. <laughs> so the next point is uh, let's assume pillar six. Sorry, I think I made a mistake somewhere. Twelve. What is the mistake? Okay. Sorry, this one cannot be 67. That's, uh, in, this is angle 45 degrees. How many minutes? 42 minutes, 34 minutes, 12 seconds. 90 degrees vertical. So distance we say insert. Uh -huh. So this is it. Eh? So you can just continue, continue like that. So when we are done, let us delete this one first. Delete this line since it's fictitious just for just for the explanation and this new c2 is fictitious delete it so when you are done you will come you will say end open it's an open uh, traverse it's an open traverse it's an open job it's not we didn't we didn't close we are not closing on where we started from uh, it's not a traverse but uh, it's not a traverse per se but we didn't close on where we are starting from so we are not we don't intend to traverse or do any form of traverse just to change stations so that we can can be able to measure all the points we want to measure so here you say end open hmm? end open so normally when you do that it will it will it will print out it will output one more observation i think your last observation so you can just delete that one hmm? so you make sure you you uncheck this one this scale extended code sizes make sure you extend uh, uncheck it and you say calculate okay total travel distance 40 adjust coordinates no we are not adjusting because you do not close on any uh, control on any known point so you say data you save yes we've not saved cancel after normally after you have finished type you are supposed to save your work like this eh? your few data you save uh, data points so now you say points say eight fields eight field shots considered so when you close that one if you 
just bring this one here you'll be able to see your work huh this is exactly how it is so we set up here we back to this point which is a uh, nil b and we measured all these points we measured all these points huh? so from here by the time you look at this diagram you already know if if everything was okay if your job was okay if you did the right thing if everything went went well so you look at where you where you, where you set up your instrument which is one you look at your back side is your rotation okay so from here you know so if everything is okay you just come here you say you say exports to ASC double I eh? I just come to export you don't need to adjust anything here just come to export here then this one change to all files yeah I'll actually share dot CSV save 10 points exported so you click ok you can close you can close you can close so you see this is the field book these are the uh, horizontal angles and the vertical angles and distances this is our field book ok so we can just go now to copan alatiche which is the first one so look at our file here exported as csv eh? So because we have Excel installed on the system, it will just it will just uh, open in Excel format. So in CSV format in Excel in Excel CSV format in Excel. Okay, so you can see point number, the name, our nothing, our listing, everything, our 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 angles and distances have been converted to coordinates so that's how to use copan light to process field data